Hi Aquarius, a weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. And um, this reading could resonate with any uh, person who has Aquarius strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. There will be an extended reading. The extended reading will dig a little bit deeper into this reading that will be on the table and then move the story forward. All right, let's go ahead and dig right in Aquarius and see what's here. Gotta fix my sleeves. They've curled up on me. Sorry, I should have done this before, but all of a sudden when I see something wrong, I, it's like I have to click, what's going on here? Okay, Aquarius, there's a little bit of a delay for some reason. I'm finding all kinds of problems here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm getting into your energy, Aquarius. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen here? Aquarius for the week ahead. Aquarius for the week ahead. Aquarius for the week ahead. All right. Energy is kind of quieting now. Aquarius for the week ahead. Chariot. Ooh, wowzers. Chariot energy. Two of Wands. Five of Cups. Five of Wands. Let's pull a clarifier for the Five of Wands while we're here. Clarifier for the Five of Wands. King of Wands. Okay. Six of Cups. Ooh, there's a hiding one. Four of Wands. Six of Cups. Queen of Pentacles flipping over. Queen of Cups flipping over. Seven of Wands. Eight of Pentacles flipping over. Realize my cards aren't totally straight. I'll fix those when I'm done. Six of Swords. King of Cups. Remember, these two energies at the bottom are the energies you're embodying as a Aquarius. And this is a situation around you. Usually this row is like, oh, anyway, I, I'm not going to, uh, no, it's too abstract to kind of tell too much. But th this, I can say very clearly from my readings, um, in a very simple way, these are the energies that you yourselves are embodying. Now, I'm in a very strange place in, in this feeling that I get, Aquarius. Um, even as I was shoveling, e shoveling, e even as I was shuffling, and even as I was like getting into this energy, there's, there's a little bit of a, um, there's a steadying effect, but in that steadying and stabilizing, um, it's almost like the ground is settling just a little bit, like it's settling in. And it was once chaotic, and as it's being chaotic, it's like settling into structure and stability. That's what it feels like to me. And I feel like uh, Aquarius, as you're moving forward um, in, in the week to come, this plan that you have and this understanding of your talents and capabilities and the way to do something, the efficiency or the, um, the plan that you have, or the conversations that you've had that really have helped you to understand, you really are in a place of understanding, understanding of your situation. And you have experienced in, in recent times a stabilizing factor, whatever that has been for you. You have felt the nurturing and the way forward for you. You have felt success in that, whether you felt it recently or, or not. Um, you have, you do know how it feels to live um, in, in smoothness and peacefulness and with confidence at, at the way you're moving and the way you're living life. And I think that you're kind of back at that place again, where you, whatever it is that you're doing, you, there's some action that you're taking this. Okay. Whatever's happening in your life, Aquarius, it's moving forward. It's moving forward. The universe has, you know, you're in the hands of the universe, in the hands of your team, and you are moving forward. 
you are moving forward and you are moving forward into stability. You have this new confidence in what you're doing or in your relationships or in your family or at your work. You have this new confidence and you have this structure and it comes from this planning that you've done and the way that you've communicated and the way that you've built your sentence structures, um, the way you've controlled your emotions and really have done the hard things to bring about some really important changes in the home important changes perhaps in the diet, important changes perhaps with medicine, um, with your work, with a, with a business management um, plan, whatever it is, there is now, as you're moving into the week, uh, uh, a feeling like, okay, this is coming together and this feels much better. It might be hard. I might be having to move. I might be having to make changes in what I'm doing, but is bringing about something that's much better for me. I, it's worth it to do this. It's worth it to take this action. It's worth it to, to forge ahead because I'm seeing how things are becoming better for me. And I have this comfort and this security. And I have this relationship that's really helping in many ways um, to move forward. And so uh, whatever whatever kinds of complaints you might have about the workload or about um, the team that you have, I just feel like those, the pain of those things are really melting away as you um, have gained this confidence. The four of wands and six of swords is a confidence. Um, it's a, it's a growth of confidence and the growth of a sense of self and the effectiveness of what you deem, what you consider to be important and how you have built your confidence, understanding that you have found success um, coming from the guidance from within. It is the power movement of the yin. Uh, so yes, you're moving forward in this. Now, I do believe there is a, some sort of decision to make, some sort of decision to make this week. And I think this decision is being made um, with the consideration um, with the consideration of a soulmate, with the consideration of a child, with the consideration of the family around you. So there is some decision to be made. I think that there are going to be conversations around this. There's going to be um, different options here. This, this decision is being made from the mindset of the yin. So this is the maternal strength and decisions are being made um, in the energy of the empress or in, in the energy of the queens. And so um, it would be a yin way to solve this problem, but definitely connecting into those people around you, those situations around you that are most connected to your heart. So whatever this decision, this strategy is that you're coming up with, I do feel like it's going to be made um, in the, in the, um, Lady Liberty, <laughs> Lady Liberty is coming forward, like in the, uh, as Lady Liberty would make the decision, um, in, in a careful and considerate way. And because there are people around you that are ultimately so very important to you. Ooh, flash of, flash of emotion here. There could be some emotions here, um, that comes in because I did feel that flash of emotion that got my eyes a little bit wet. You know how that feels. Aquarius, as you're moving forward through the end of the week, um, we see you moving into the King of Cups position. This is the energy that you're embodying. Um, we do see a masculine up here in the King of Wands, um, but you're embodying this King of Cups energy. So I feel, Aquarius, you're going, you're, you're setting into action at the end of the week, really uh, understanding there are some actions that you can take, whether it's in conversations, whether it's some small things you can do to really bring in some health and well-being um, and love and care and um, some repairs and some fixes here that's going to help improve the situation. Um, and look at the King of Cups riding over the Six of Cups, which is the soulmate energy, over the Seven of Wands, which is um, strength in um, strength of self, uh, um, strength in in uh, in the in the in the plan that you have, in the way you believe, in the way you take action, having confidence that your way is a good way for you and it's a good way for your family and it's a good way for those that you're connecting to. So you have this confidence and you have this peacefulness about the things that you're about to do or the things that you're going to do. And you're moving into a place of just um, small actions that you can take um, to help bring in um, health, well-being and vitality. Look at the King of Cups rising up over these two qualities that we have here into the Page of Cups. This is talking about rejuvenation, um, love, love messages, um, feeling better about a situation. There could be a beautiful date that's happening here. There could be some celebrations of some repairs that have been done to the home or some um, 
some it's something within the close circle that there's a there's a love quality that really comes in um there could be a beautiful weekend here there could be a, a wonderful date out on the town uh, a cozy night um with with one another reading or watching movies or listening to music or dancing um whatever it is it's something that really fills the heart and helps to to really um connect into the heart center with the people that that you love and so while there are some so a little bit of hard things around i do feel like right, this week is going to have um, a real beautiful quality of warmth warmth and love and consideration here for Aquarius and Aquarius people. It doesn't come without work because you now have Aquarius, this strength um, where you can be guarded and protective, where you can be be comfortable and confident in the way that you're taking action. There is a strength here that you probably have had to build up within you. This kind of strength and the peacefulness and the sense of self comes from a journey of overcoming and re um, rebuilding your own um, uh, uh, rebuilding your own capacity to be strong of mind uh, and understand that other people are around you. They might have their own ways of doing things. They might have their own opinions, whether it's on TV or YouTube or wherever you get um, advice from, you know that in this situation, the way you're doing it is good for you. It's good for your family. And it does bring love, romance, um, cozy nights, um, of, of, there's something very beautiful here, Aquarius, for you this week. Now, as you're moving out through the end of the week, we have um, something coming in here. Um, it's connected to the King of Wands. The King of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be that sign, but this is someone who really likes um, to make to to go into action. Somebody likes to make quick plans and kind of set into action. There could be something here where there's like um, it's just a weekly reading. So I'm trying to think of something lighter. Um, you know, in, in my family, we have a, there's eight of us kids. And when we get together, there's a lot of people who try to be the chiefs. And we have a lot of people who aren't scared to make decisions, aren't scared to move forward, aren't scared to do fun things. And you have a whole bunch of people making a whole bunch of plans. And when you get together, you're like, wait, I thought we were leaving at nine. No, we're going to leave at noon. Uh, but I thought we were going to get here. Oh, no, no, we decided we're going to go over here. It's almost like there's somebody here, whether it's a spouse or a child or a coworker, there's somebody here who all of a sudden comes up with some sort of idea or some sort of action that really doesn't make sense or does, there's some sort of conflict here with people all running in different directions i'm not sure what's going on there but uh, it could be like the day after sometimes when you have this like beautiful beautiful day or a beautiful weekend and then all of a sudden like you step out to the outside and the world kind of hits you and all of a sudden like everything becomes chaos and you're like wait what happened what happened it was just so beautiful it was so wonderful it was so heavenly and now it's just all chaos and what have there's just kind of like that kind of a that kind of a uh, an energy here it's i even think it's kind of funny it might not be it might not be humorous for some of you but i think for most of you because you've had this very beautiful quality here and you've spent the time connecting that when things get difficult it's like it's so easy to remember how it was last night and you've just connected and you've just felt the heart centers and whatever centers of each other that you still have that intimacy you still have that connection so strong so when things happen like this it's maybe more of a teasing it's maybe more of a you know josh and one another and 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 really kind of it, it's e it's much easier to overcome this kind of conflict and um and in chaos it's not chaos as a, i don't think it's anything dramatic it's just like what i was saying like there's just two people here who maybe have different ways of doing something like maybe all it is is um gonna make a dinner maybe you're gonna make dinner and and maybe the you know somebody was supposed to stop at the store and, and get a certain ingredients but they they see a sale for something else and so that you know i'm gonna get that i'm gonna get that over there instead of this but the other person's at home and they've already started making the food and the other person comes home and they're like oh yeah i got this and like, why why'd you get that and, you know it's it's more like that and i'm sorry the story is kind of silly but that's the kind of energy that i see here is there going to be any strife here this week for for aquarius i feel like this is a week that's sort of a break yes you're at work yes you're making changes you're making some decisions um but ultimately there's love here there's there's kindness here there's a peacefulness here and even at the end of the week even through this like complexity that comes in i think it's almost has like a little bit of a joshing 
joshing kind of an energy because you're dealing with the king of wands he doesn't mind making these decisions he doesn't mind changing the path he doesn't mind he's not scared of it doesn't bother him he's not thinking of all these little details that are in the six of swords king of wands and the six of swords well they like each other um if there's another person to kind of manage the six of swords this king of wands has a little bit of a hard time with the six of swords because he easily can change the plan he's not really bothered so much by the structure and the plan and stuff so yeah we we have that a little bit of that element here aquarius uh i don't know um let's look at this page of cups before i head to the extended and see what's here in the page of cups it just feels very warm and and beautiful to me page of cups connecting into the six of cups connecting into the king of cups it's really beautiful, Aquarius. Um, let's go into the Page of Cups and see if we can... Uh, I'll pull one of these tarot cards and I'll pull the sticker cards to see what comes out. Queen of Cups. Oh, now we have... Oh my gosh. Now we have the Queen of Cups with the King of Cups. Whatever happens here in this loving moment, in this loving time, it really does help to fill the feminine cup of love. And I believe, my friends, that this cup of love is going to run it over this week. So this, uh, this King of Wands, well... You know, uh, he's going to be, both of you are going to be happy and connecting in in a beautiful way um, in, in the week to come. Um, let's pull a couple of these sticker cards before. I, I know you guys, these sticker cards are juvenile, they're immature, they're silly looking, but I'm not an artist. I get bored with tarot sometimes. I want to see some images. So put up with me, please. Let's see what cards come out. And I'm not going to really read these cards. I'll just let you look at them. They're, they mean things, totally different things to different people. So um, I'm just going to pull the three cards and see what we have here for images. Get one more here. One more. I feel like there's still energy in this deck. Let's see if we can get another one to come out. Woo! Under the thumb, though. Fashion. There's there's date nights here for some of you. There's date nights here for some of you. Or beauty, beauty. Uh. Okay. All right, here are the cards that have come out. Ooh, we can love. We can love. Happy day. Love. This amazing life. And then we have the stick to the plan. <laughs> Some of you guys are going to stick to the plan and feel a victory from that. Maybe you're going to go exercise, going hiking, water, goal, weekly workout, workout, stick to the plan. All right, my friends, I am going to move on to the extended reading now. In the extended reading, I want to look into the chariot energy. And I do want to look into this um, uh, Six of Cups just a little bit to kind of go into this nice feeling, this this relationship kind of energy. So I'm going to look at, um, in the in the extended reading, I'm going to look at the Chariot, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. And then I'm going to move this forward. All right, Aquarius, thank you all for being here. It is a pleasure to read for Aquarius. And I wish you guys well the next week and month to come. Stay strong, stay healthy, and I look forward to reading for you again next week. Thank you, Aquarius.